Hi everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, for this week, we're going to be colouring in Johanna Batter's World of Flowers. I haven't coloured in this one yet. I don't know what this paper's like. I'm going to be using my W. Smith watercolours and my ink tents if I want to. Um, so it'll be slow because obviously it's watercolours. So let's uh, do a bit, shall we? So I don't know. Um, I have no idea what this is going to be like. On this, but I thought I'd give it a go because I've got no idea what this paper is going to be like. It's quite smooth. Now I do have three of these Derwent water brush pens. So I've got a very small one, number one, and number two, which is what I normally use, and number three, which is the thicker one. So for obviously these thin things, I'm going to be using number one. So like I said, I don't know what this is going to be like. But we're going to give it a go and see what happens. So I was going to try and start this on the weekend, but I wasn't well, so I'm a bit late. My original plan for this month was to try and do a different picture and on the colour and catch up or colour and chat each week, which would give me four finished pictures. I don't know if that's going to happen now, but hey, we will see. Um, if it does, great. If it doesn't, that's just one of those things, isn't it? But we'll see. So I've got to be honest, although it's only November, I am absolutely chomping at the bit to start colouring for Christmas. Um, now you'll either have seen a October colouring book haul or you are about to. I don't know. I know I said I wasn't going to do one. I've got one filmed. Whether or not you'll see it before this video goes up or after, it might be after. Um, but yeah, I've bought more colouring books. And I've bought more since. Um, I'm just... It gets to the point where if I'm ordering from eBay, uh, from eBay, from Amazon anyway, I order a colouring book. So I've already got four more this month. One was ordered last month, to be fair. It was ordered last month, so... But, and it arrived last month, but it was at my neighbour's. It arrived on the 31st, and I couldn't get it until um, after the month changed and I'd filmed the thing. And the four books I've bought, that, or I've got this month, have been all Christmas ones. And I've got another Christmas one coming at the end of the month, which is the new Creative Haven book, which is released on the 30th of November, so... Even though we're not near Christmas, I am chomping at the bit to start calling Christmas, which means I'll probably be bored of it by mid-month. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm not going to be calling any on camera until next month, though. Um, so I finally got a new phone so I might do a weekly vlog next week you know I do one every now and again I um, hadn't done one for a while because it's awkward on that little camera which is great for vlogging but I still haven't read the instruction manual which is somewhere on the table I need to find it and I do need to read it because I need to change some of the settings on there I need to have to do it uh, but uh, Jennifer cracked the screen on my other phone, my old phone in the summer, so I couldn't film both of it, you know, both ways, I could only film one way. But now I've got a new camera, a new phone, um, which is 
very nice, I must say. And I am looking forward to, to trying it out. I have taken some photographs with it just to, to test it. And I am really, really looking forward to uh, giving it a try with the old um, video camera part. I haven't used that yet. Yeah. This isn't going to be a long video, it's getting late and I'm really tired. So I've had a few, few sales on eBay, but to be fair, I haven't really been listing very much. And the reason for that is that obviously if I've not, I've not been well and um, it's just been very hard to try and do anything like that. So I haven't bothered, but I'm hoping get back to that. I have done a load of photographs. I did have a sale today, I sold a camera. So I'll probably posting that this day. You can probably hear Paul moving around upstairs. They've all gone to bed, Paul and Jennifer. Because I find I either have to do this when she's asleep in the afternoon and I'm, I'm afraid of disturbing her or when she's gone to bed at night. Now, so I'm using the very thin one, although this is quite a big bit, there's a lot of thin around here as well, so. I quite like using the wall colours, it's not going on too badly. It did go on the, the Beauty of Horror book really well, I would say that, it really did. Um, so, so yeah, you can't see what I'm doing because I'm not looking at the screen as usual. I do apologise. I've just been doing that. Still, never mind. I am doing a picture in the Deborah Muller book, Full Friends, and I do that at night in bed. So when I finished here, I will probably go and do a little bit in that, but it won't be much because it's getting late. I usually spend about 40 minutes on an evening doing that, but I'll probably do about 10 or 15 tonight just because it's getting a bit late, you know. So, yeah, I am doing that. And I still missed a bit on these. Never mind, I'll do it in a minute. So, yeah, it's... So, yeah, I was out in um, Newport on the weekend. We just went out to get some air before the rain set in because we had some bad rain on the weekend but on and on Saturday it hammered it down but we went down in the while well, the sun was starting in the morning and it was raining when we came back we got back and it was actually hammering it and we went to the Smith because I thought I'm gonna go and have a look for the Colour in Heaven Christmas issue which was released on the 30th and I was having a look at uh, looking for it and I spotted it, I thought great and I saw uh, yours retro which I wanted to have a look at because it was an uh, article on blondes like Marilyn and Jean Harlow and such like and I thought well I'll get that but then I saw that they actually had the colour in heaven Christmas collection one the special one that you have to order it is in some um, independent news agents and and some supermarkets but I hadn't seen it anywhere and then they had it so I thought do you know what I'm buying that so I picked them both up so I've got both of those um, I got the new Jade Summer Christmas one and I got what was the other one I got I've got the Colour It Christmas book because I do like the Colour It books they are expensive to get over from the States because it's like 20 quid. I have to order it from Amazon America and, and it, it is about 20 pounds. But I ordered it and that arrived and I'm looking forward to getting stuck in that one as well because you know, it's a Christmas book and I love their paper. So yeah. So I've got that. And I've got 
the two of those and like I said the new Jade Summer one. On top of that I've got all the Christmas books I had previously. The Creative Haven one which is coming at the end of the month. I've got the uh, Edwina McNamee Winter Windlings is it? Something like that. Among others. So the Deborah Muller one is for friends. I was telling you about that. Jennifer's making a funny noise. Oh dear. Let's go and check on her in a minute. <laughs> she makes some strange noises. You know, she's not crying. She's just making a funny noise. I'll go and check on her in a minute because she sounds like she's getting sometimes she does that she'll wake up and she'll cry for a minute and then then she'll go back to sleep and I'm using the touch five markers again on the Deborah Muller book you saw that I used them last month on the Nightmare book and I really enjoyed using them. And I bought them a long time ago, it was like two years ago, maybe longer. It might have been three. And I only ever used them like on one picture maybe, maybe two. And then I, I stopped, I didn't use them again. But I got them back out and I was thinking these are not going to work, they're going to be all dead. Oh, I'm going to have to check on a minute. They're going to be all dried up. They were fine. They are, they are, some of them are drying up because they are quite, they have been sitting around for a while. But they're not so bad that I can't use them. And I have been looking up replacements and I have found that they're not as expensive now as they were when I bought them. So I'm going to order some more alcohol markers at some point. The Arteza ones, which I would like, they're quite expensive. They're not expensive when you think about it. It's £102 for 100 markers or something like that, which isn't that expensive. But if you haven't got a spare £100, which I obviously don't, it's a lot of money. Um, obviously, I've had, just had to get a new car. I still haven't got it, but it will be soon. So that's wiped out pretty much all my savings. I'm starting to build them back up again now. Um, but you know but I have looked and the the other alcohol markers they're not that expensive I've had a quick look they're not too bad so quite happy to spend a bit of money on them so I think we'll use this sort of light brown I'm, I'm not ignoring her don't think I'm ignoring Jennifer I'm not I am just trying to give her a chance to calm down because she will. It's just, I think she gets a bit, she realizes I'm not there. And gets up, so I'm trying not to touch the green. Um. So she realises I'm not there and then she panics. But she's fine. I'll be going up pretty much. Straight away, soon anyway, to check on her, so. She's more sort of chatting to herself than crying. That's a cry. I am constantly listening out as to how she's sounds. It's probably because she can hear me chatting. This is going to be a very short video, I think. I'm just going to turn it sideways so I'm not touching that green. Because I have been, and it's spread a bit. Sometimes I think anyone thinks she didn't have a dad because it's always me that has to go and uh, calm her down. But if I go in, she won't settle back down. 
Oh dear, she does not sound too happy to be left on her own, so I better go and check on her. Back in a second. Okay, I've just been up, she's still not happy. Um, but other than actually getting to bed with her, which I don't want to do, because that's not good. I'm just going to leave it for a bit longer. Oh, love her. So how are you all? What are you up to? I have been reading um, a fair bit in the last week. Usually I don't because I don't get the chance, but I have had a little bit of time to read. Obviously, I've, when I go to the hairdressers, I read. But um, I bought three books from the works on Saturday and they're all Christmas related. And I've read two of them already. I shall take them down to my mum's and she can read them after. There. Although I like other things like murder mysteries, a lot of the time we do read the same book, so it's quite good. I'm wondering what, oh dear, that was a nasty shout then from Jennifer. A bit around the edge here. She is, I know she'll want me to get into bed with her, and I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I will go and uh, give her a cuddle. She's been a good girl all day. And like I said, I think it's because she can hear me talking to you guys that she's uh, kicking off. So let's see. calm down again at the moment so it's mean to stay she'll stay that way but we'll see I do like using these watercolors they are quite nice I'm not the best with watercolors I'm not the best at anything of these coloring but I do enjoy coloring so I will be doing a um, budget fine liner review soon this is kind of my review on these budget watercolors and I have to say I am impressed with them having used them in the beauty of horror having used them in this book now considering I paid around seven or eight ninety nine for them I'm really pleased now they were in the sale they were half price so their normal price is around 15, 16, 17 pounds, something like that. I'm not sure of hand. I'll look it, I can look it up, but. Uh, so I did get them half price. So if you look, you can get them in the sale half price for around seven, eight, ninety-nine. And do I think they are worth picking up? I'd say yes. I'd say even at their higher price when they're not in the sale, they are definitely worth picking up. They lay down very nicely they blend quite nicely the water they got good coverage you can you know as you can see it's going on quite nicely i found you can add more to the layers after as well if you wish to so these are definitely worth the price there's not a huge range of colors in them there's only what is it 24 i think no nope, tell i 36 but of course if you're blending them you get different shades of the various colors so they are definitely worth it so yeah i would recommend these if you're on a budget especially if you can pick them up half price in the sale like i did I would say definitely do it, definitely to go for it. They are, they are worth it, definitely. They are lovely. <gasps> Excuse me, I've got hiccups now. Oh, 
I'm so tired. So far we've only done 16 minutes or 17 minutes and I'm absolutely shattered. So I'm, I'm gonna leave it there for some because I'm so, so tired. Um, so, so far I've done this and I need to let this dry so I can do the next bit. We'll do some of the flowers next time. But yeah, so this is World of Flowers. So I said, I've got some budget fine liners. You'll see those in my haul. And um, I plan on doing a picture from Lost Ocean because there's lots of really fine lines in that with those fine liners. So you should be seeing that hopefully sometime this week. I hope. But that's it all for now. I'm enjoying this. I quite like this book. There's some lovely pictures in it. Obviously, I haven't done a flip through this because there's hundreds of... Uh, I'm sure flip throughs on uh, YouTube of uh, this one. If you did want to see a flip through, let me know and I will do one. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this. Leave me a comment down below and I will see you all in the next video. Oh, sorry, it's really, 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 really. Oh, I'm just too tired to do any more. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.